In the studies on breast cancer, it shows that for women over the age of 50, lowering the fat intake in their diet does not seem to reduce the risk of breast cancer. However, if we look at women between the ages of 20 and 40 years old, there is a big relation between animal products, especially meat and fat and full fat dairy, with risk of breast cancer. So the point that, the, that this, these studies make is that the diets younger in life has a greater effect than diets later in life. And I wrote about this in, the, in a lot in the book I wrote called Disease Proof Your Child. Because I explained the studies that show that when they follow children's diets at a young age, they find that, for example, the amount of fruit eaten, eaten in the first 10 years of life has a dramatic effect in reducing all adult cancers. Because when your cells are young, they're multiplying and dividing, and they're more susceptible to the damaging effects of a low-nutrient diet or the, or the effects of saturated fat and other cancer-promoting in, um, influences. Now, even though these studies show that animal fat reduction later in life does not reduce breast cancer, does not mean a person cannot reduce breast cancer risk when they change their diet later in life. It just means that cutting the fat down or just moving to a vegan diet is not sufficient to do so. So let's look at some of that information. Now this is a slide where, where I put together all the data on the dietary influence on breast and prostate cancer. I'm not talking about colon cancer here. We're talking about breast and prostate cancer, which are more hormonally influenced cancers, where they affect the, the um, causation is more influenced by what you do early in life, which affects hormonal levels your whole life. And what I'm saying to you is we're finding out that certain foods have the ability to lower the risk of cancer if consumed in large amounts, even when that, those changes are made later in life. The whole purpose of, this, of these few slides is to not to say, oh, there's no point in changing my diet now because I've already eaten unhealthy as a child. The purpose is saying, no, that's not what I'm saying here. I'm saying that just making moderate improvements in your diet is not sufficient if you lived unhealthy. Now that you're older and you've lived that life where you've incurred some risks, now you have to make more than moderate improvements. You have to move all the way to nutritional excellence to get the protection you're looking for. This is all about maximizing your longevity and dramatically enhancing your lifespan and giving you the fullest quality of life in your later years that you can have. Full physical capacity, full mental and emotional capacity, and, of course, avoiding the tragedies when people get medical problems. So going back to this, one major point is that raw vegetables and cancer. That a review of over 200 studies, and I've spent, you know, obviously, as Jeff said, I've spent the last, you know, 20, 30 years review, reviewing more than 10,000 studies in relation between diet and cancer. And, and it's, not, it's not the case that people think that the, stu that the studies all conflict and tell different stories. They don't. When you review all the studies and you really understand that, that a, the age at which the diet change, the extent of the diet change, and the type of diet change that's, been, that's going into the study, when you, know, when you look at it with those parameters, it all makes sense and all the pieces of the puzzle fit together. So I'm trying to have the pieces of the puzzle fit together for you. All right, so the point here is that raw vegetables, especially raw green vegetables, have the most consistent and powerful association the reduction of cancers of all types including studies where the increase in raw veg and green vegetable consumption was done later in life. Now, when people improve their diet, they don't always eat a lot of raw vegetables, especially raw green vegetables. So we're seeing that, we're learning that when you eat, uh, when you eat a green vegetable, a lot of these vegetable compounds, especially the, the ones called isothiocyanates, or ITCs, so write that down, ITCs, isothiocyanates, we're talking about that a lot today, have effects to repair broken DNA crosslinks. They arm the body's ability to fix broken crosslinks that may have caused dysplasia or early cellular damage that would eventually have led to cancer. When you eat or raise on the wrong diet in life, and when you're young in life, it breaks, it damages your DNA. And eventually, with further and further DNA damage, the body starts to eventually, the cells become, go haywire, can't control the replication, and they become cancerous. However, there are certain foods, especially raw green vegetables and green cruciferous vegetables, that have the ability to suppress genetic defects that predispose people to cancer, to actually encourage the production of certain proteins that go up and down the DNA and repair broken DNA, DNA crosslinks, and to remove carcinogens from cells and ferret them out of your body 
in a, in a long-acting effect. Like when you take vitamin E or vitamin C, it has some antioxidant effects, but it wears off in a few hours. When you eat the ice, when you take green vegetables, those arm different mechanisms in your tissues that keep the system active and going 24, 36, 48 hours. So it has beneficial effects that last not just a few hours, but for days. So we're saying here that people who eat more Chinese cabbage, bok choy, kale, collards, these green vegetables, have a strong protective effect even in those people who are genetically predis predisposed to breast cancer. So the point here is we want to think about eating a vegetable-based diet with lots of vegetables because it's not just breast cancer and prostate cancer. It's colon cancer. It's ovarian cancer. There's, more, there's approximately a 60% reduction in almost all these cancers with people consuming a high amount of green vegetables, especially the green cruciferous vegetables. Mm -hmm.